look at a rose flower, the moment you see, your mind first creates a word rose, then it starts analyzing, bringing the thoughts of all the roses which you receive and all the roses which you presented. Then the thought moves, what was the mood which you experienced when you presented the rose or you received the rose? And now it's the thoughts related to the person who presented or received the roses. Within few seconds, you travel far away from the rose which is in front of you. The moment you create a word, you decided to travel away from the object. You decided to travel away from the reality which is in front of you. The words which is created inside your head moves you away from the reality. That is very clear. The moment you create the word rose, you think you understood rose. You understood the word rose. Understand? If you look at a rose flower without creating the word rose, just simply looking, suddenly you will see the boundary of the rose slowly starts disappearing. You will intensely start feeling the same feeling which you are feeling inside this body with that body also. As long as you create word and separate that object, that body from this body, you will experience two Dvaita. When you do not create word and just experience some object, suddenly you will start realizing, you will start experiencing the same life, intensity, energy which you are experiencing inside this skin, in that skin also. Inside this skin, what you are experiencing? You will start experiencing in that skin also. That is what I call Advaita. If you create a word rose, you will not experience the life which you are experiencing inside this skin, in that skin. If you drop the word and relate with it in a very silent way, you will experience the same life, same vibration, same intensity which you are experiencing inside this skin, inside that skin also. That's what we call Advaita. That is what we call experience of oneness. 